Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 23rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for taking some time today. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we're truly really moving into the end of summer doldrums, although the new issue market uh, for muni bonds stays pretty strong. Let's start on the market side. What kind of uh, price and yield activity do you see? Yeah, so uh, earlier in the week, we had the Fed, mi Fed minutes come out. Um, those showed several officials actually acknowledging um, a legit case for cutting rates at the most recent meeting in July. Uh, as we know, the Fed did keep rates steady, um, but I think um, the language where they highlight the risks to inflation have been declining while the risks to the labor market have been increasing. I think the market, you know, can um, kind of look at that and say, you know, is the Fed behind the eight ball? Should they have, you know, cut 25 basis points last meeting? Um, and, you know, when we look at uh, the non-farm payrolls, I think the revision is somewhat telling, right? So when we look at the labor market, uh, we saw an eight, about an 800,000 um, revision, which is 800,000 lower in jobs. And that's actually one of the biggest revisions we've had since, I believe, 2009. Um, so again, we're seeing a softening in the labor market. Um, and, uh, you know, the question is, is the Fed just kind of moving too slowly? Yeah, it really seems like the debate right now uh, for the September meeting is between 25 and 50 basis points of soft of uh, tie, you know, softening. And then we're going to get another data point later on today when Fed Chairman Powell speaks at the Jackson Hole conference. Uh, people will be watching to see uh, where he comes down on the side of this debate. Yeah, and the market will definitely look to dissect those comments, uh, you know, monetary policy um, and, you know, the easing of, uh, you know, how that will look at the end of the year. I think right now. Uh, the market's looking at about 100 basis points in tightening. Um, and so uh, any comments he makes in regards to that uh, will kind of give us some more uh, direction. And back in the muni market, $12 billion of new issued price again this week. Another week of inflows, according to Lipper, uh, just over, uh, I think, just under $300 uh, million to municipal bond mutual funds in the week. Um, really, all the reports we're seeing, still ample demand for these new issues. Some questions emerging if the uh, issuance pace keeps up through October, as many bankers and underwriters expect it to. That may, uh, they may start to find some headwinds because the, uh, the seasonal inputs from uh, you know, principal interest payments are starting to slow down a little bit, but that's a that's a tomorrow question, not a today question. Tell us a little bit what you saw in the uh, new issue market. Yeah, so this week it was still a heavy calendar. We had 12 billion price. Um, new York City Geo, Baycare Health, and DFW led the way there. Uh, for BAM, we had a great week: 23 transactions, 276 million a par. Uh, two deals I want to highlight: one, 65 million dollar. Um, Johnstown Water in Colorado, and that was uh, uh, brought by Stiefel. And then there was a $47 million Boaz City Board of Education in Alabama, and that was with uh, Fraser Lanier. And looking at it to next week, the total calendar goes down, as you'd expect in the last week before the Labor Day holiday. Uh, still pretty vibrant, though, over $9 billion. What do you see on the BAM side? Yeah, $9 billion. Uh, you know, I'm based in uh, California. Um, the state of California is coming with $2.6 in geo bonds. Um, so that will that will definitely be uh, leading the way there. Uh, but for BAM, uh, two deals I want to highlight, $60 million Tip City Village School District, and that's in Ohio. Uh, Baird will be bringing that one. And then there's a $46 million Harrison County in Mississippi that's across two series, uh, and that's with uh, Raven James. Great. We'll probably take next week off from the weekly updates ahead of the Labor Day holiday. We'll be back in September. Uh, we'll have a non-farm payroll report to talk about by then. Thanks for your time, David. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.